<laughs> hey everybody, it's Saturday evening, uh, done with the uh, the Pear Blossom Festival. What a, what a great time it was there. Lots of gospel went out, uh, abolition message, and just some encouragement of the saints as well. And, and so we are here at the United Methodist, the Newman United Meth Methodist Church. And uh, for the gay men's chorus, it come from Portland, actually called the Portland Gay Men's Chorus. And so we're we got some signs here, and we're gonna um, gonna see uh, Ben was out here, and John and, and Kathy earlier, and had some interaction. So we're gonna see how this goes. Want to get the gospel out? So we'll turn you around here and have a look. Got some got some good signs there. Got fairly decent lighting here, so you can yeah let's see what the other side says. Yep, yep. Looks good, looks good. And that's a brand new sign there, I think, isn't it, John? What's the back side? Well, it's, it's my first time using it. Yeah, first time using it. I made one for Sean and yeah. I really liked it, so I made one for me. Yeah, what's the back side look there? It looks like they're, uh... oh yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Yeah, and then I've got uh, the good old uh, one here. This is the uh, Mark Mayberry design and uh, with a little help from um, Mason, well, actually, this, this is Mason Goodnight's design here. But great uh, gospel banner really uh, gets the attention of, of folks. And so we're going to go clip in here. And um, please pray for us. I appreciate that. Just asking questions, you know, and people get upset. Here, okay, it's in, it's in uh, First <clears throat> Corinthians nine, nine ten. Yeah, nor no revilers, nor swindlers, <clears throat> uh, <just> partiers. <clears throat> How's it going? You guys get some good information on the LGBT community here. Rainbow card. Repent and believe the gospel. That's that's the message for eternal life. The trust in Jesus. Not only of the earth, but also of spirit. You can be saved from hell, from sin and hell Thanks and damnation. Yes. Oh, I will spit out. And neither neither fornicators nor idolaters or homosexuals will enter the kingdom of God, but neither will liars or thieves or blasphemers. Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor the idolater, nor the adulterer, nor men who practice homosexuality. I can inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah, right on. You guys get a rainbow card? God bless. Uh, yeah. yeah. Rainbow card for you. you. Guys get a rainbow card? A little information on LGBT. Yeah. Repent and believe the gospel. There's a, some LGBT information. We're here for the good of your souls and yeah, for the glory sure. of God. And, we'll pray for you, and, buddy. Uh, what, who are you praying to? Which God? False God. That's idolatry, sir. Where are you going to go when you die? You're going to go to heaven or hell? Have you have you kept the Ten Commandments? Or have you lied? Have you stolen? Have you blasphemed? The big thing today is eternity. Where will you spend eternity? Will it be heaven or hell? And, and have you kept the Ten Commandments? Have you lied? Have, have you stolen? Have you looked with lust? Have you blasphemed God? Have you coveted? Have you hated your neighbor? Any of those sins will send you to hell, but Jesus can save you. 
If you'll turn to him, if you'll trust in him, trust alone in Jesus, he can save you from your sins. It's never too late till you breathe, breathe your last. Yeah. Jesus can save you from your sin if you'll turn, if you'll repent and believe the gospel. Read it. Believe the gospel. Turn from sin, turn from lying, turn from theft, turn from lust, turn from blasphemy, turn from idolatry, making up a God in your own mind. Turn from fornication, sex outside of marriage. Turn from homosexuality, from lesbianism. Turn from abortion. We're pleading with you, don't die in your sins. We don't want that. We care about you guys. We don't want you to die in your sins and go to hell. It's a horrible place for people to go. Don't go there. Jesus can save you from your sin if, you're, if, you'll, if you'll humble yourselves and repent and believe the gospel. Turn from your sin. Did you get one of those, a rainbow card? Oh, I, I, we are open to all human beings. We love you guys, and that's why we're here on a rainy, cold night, because we don't want people to go to hell. And so we need to turn from your sins. But you bet you're still hope. You're still breathing, ma'am. You can still turn from your sins. That's the hope. If you turn from your sins of lying and theft and blasphemy and adultery and which God, ma'am? You've made up a God in your own mind that is okay with with homosexuality and actually celebrating it. You've made that you've made that a joyful thing rather than a sorrowful thing. Because people will die in their sins, not just for homosexuality, but for lying, for theft, for coveting, for making up a God in their own mind that tolerates sin. And those that... So turn from sin. Don't, don't die in your sins and go to hell. There's hope in Jesus Christ. You can be saved. You're ne it's never too late until you breathe your last, sir. You can be saved from hell. It's never too late until you breathe your last. And it's appointed a man once to die and then comes the judgment, man. So turn before, turn before your sin. Sins take you to hell. We don't want that. I want you to be, what's that? What's that? Oh, we don't hate anybody. Why, why would we be out here on a dark, cold, rainy night if we hated you? We, we are here so you don't die and your sins go to hell, ma'am. What kind of, that, you can't be more loving than that. We care about your soul, ma'am. What do you think of the signs? What what part don't you like? No, we'd love to have a conversation with you. That's why we're here. We didn't come out on a dark rainy night because we don't have anything else to do. We have busy lives. Well, we care about you guys. I'm getting baptized next Saturday, and I'm very happy to be Episcopal. Well, have you have you repented of your sins, sir? Have you turned to Christ for forgiveness of sins? You don't want to just get wet and, and die in your sins, because that's what. Do you think we haven't heard this before? Like, do, are you do you thinking this is like a new message for us? Is that what you're thinking? We have, we have I understand that you, you've darkened yourself to the gospel. You've hardened your heart to God for love of sin. And I, I will plead with God that He'll bring you back one day. You cannot love 
God. You'll, you'll decide to allow him to give you a new heart. You're a homosexual. Well, you need to be willing to turn from your sin. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, meeting the folks who were here tonight because we had 220 people who were here. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys uh, sharing out to come out so you may live here for today, you may live for this life, but there is an eternity of peace. The only sin is these plaid shorts. Look at the sin of the shorts. The, why didn't catch all that sin? Sin of the shorts, he said. <laughs> I'm sinning by wearing shorts. So what verse? You got a verse and a chapter for that? Yeah, I do. Let, let's hear it. What is it? What is it? It's from the book of... No, he's a security. He's trying to keep you from hurting me, but but I'm not afraid. I'm not homophobic. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, you're not homophobic. Yeah. I actually care about you guys. Like, it's a, a rainy, cold night. We have other things we could be doing, but we care about you guys. That's why we're out here. I, you may not believe that or understand that, but that's true. We got, we got plenty of things that we could be doing, but standing out here in the cold rain. I care about you, so don't wear those shorts. Very fun. Verse, book, verse, and chapter, sir, please. That's all right. What's your source of truth? That's where we're at. What's your source of truth, ma'am? Which, which Lord are you talking about? So, you know, I'm not going to have a theological argument with you because I so, had an amazing night and my heart was really moved by them. And God loved you and I'm sure he'll forgive you for what you're doing tonight. What have I done wrong? Well, what's your source of truth, ma'am? Yeah, I'm just saying, repent of your sins, turn from your sins, and trust Jesus Christ for salvation. You can be saved from hell. We don't want you to die in your sins and go to hell. That's really, that's why we're here, so you can be saved from hell. And that's why we're here. Do you, do you understand that? That's why we're here? I didn't hear the first part. Well, so people are saying, well, they, that we, they think we hate them. It's like, well, as a Christian, we can't hate anybody. We don't hate anybody. If we do hate somebody, it shows that we're not Christians. That's what the Bible says. It says that if you hate your brother, you are a murderer. You can't be a Christian murderer. It says that in the following verse. It says, murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. In other words, they'll go to hell. So, so you, you can't. I can't actually be... I can't hate anybody. It's just not, and and I I wouldn't because I've been born again. So what do you what do you think of the signs? We're back in hell. Uh, Jesus didn't say anything about the gays. Well, he said that marriage is between one man and one woman. Jesus said that. Well, that what's your source of truth then? The Bible, the scripture. Uh, but you're Jesus. So I don't remember anything about. Yeah, he talks about, about one man, one. In the beginning, he made them ma male and female. Yeah, Jesus didn't talk about that though. How do you know? I mean, what's your source of truth on that? We don't have any recorded words of Jesus talking about that. And that's, I mean, that's so you did. read that somewhere that we don't have the recorded. So how did you? No, so you, I've, read, you, I've read every word that Jesus is recorded by but, Jesus. In but the you learned some. You learned somewhere, somewhere back. You read something from somebody that they wrote that said we don't have the words of Jesus, right? Am I correct? No, no, no. I've read. That, we have the words of Jesus in the New Testament, right? That's, well, you just that's, you that's just said we don't have the words of Jesus. We, well, we don't have everything Jesus said. Obviously. Well, yeah, we assume he talked. It's not in the New Testament. Right. He didn't. You, we don't have him. You know, his mom and, and him talking about what they want for breakfast exactly. on a Wednesday morning. Right. I yeah. mean, why would they put that in? Right. They put the important things right. in there. So yeah. Not all the important yeah. stuff in yeah. the Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Jesus yeah. didn't say anything about one man and one woman. Well, look it up. Take I, my word I, for I, it. You I, don't, I, well, you don't have to take my word for it. Look it up. Blue Letter Bible is a great resource. You got a whole bunch of different translations. You can look it up and compare them. So, now, now, are you homosexual? Uh, I am bisexual. So okay. Have. So, so as a bisexual, uh, are you a good and moral person? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, as good and moral as anybody. Uh huh. You're so kind of comparing to everybody, right? So you're better than Hitler, right? Well, I mean, you better know, than Charlie Manson. As far as as far as your as far as your this this 
uh, thing goes, everybody's a sinner, everybody's damned to hell, right? That's, that's how it goes, yeah? Well, that that's where everyone stands. Their standing is at that point. But that's not, see, I don't know where you're going to go. I can't say you're going to hell ultimately. Uh -huh. uh, but if you're if you're bisexual right now, and and have you ever, like, here's some other instances, like, um, how many lies have you told in your life? Oh, okay. No, I get, I so, get so then you'd be a liar, uh -huh. and you've stolen, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so you're a thief. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I'm trying to make it make sense, uh -huh. hopefully, because uh -huh. I don't want to be my message. I don't so want why, the message so, to be fuzzy. So here's my question. Why are you sure. here instead of, say, outside of, oh, the casino or inside of outside some other place? Where there's a bunch well, of well, we go to abortion abortion clinics. Yeah, we go to. We just came yeah, from um, from Pear Blossom like, Festival. Where there are thousands outside, of people. But why aren't you just outside, like, say, the bank or? Uh, let's because see what the, else we got. the banks are closed. There's nobody well, there. That's true. That's yeah, true. yeah. But we knew this event was coming, and we were excited to come share the gospel to those that are listening. And I appreciate that you're taking the time to listen. But we care about you, and we don't want anybody to go to hell. And so that's our charge is to yeah, care for like for our fellow mankind. Seems like that's between me and God, though. Well, it is ultimately, but but you're also the Bible says to examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. So to judge yourself, because God is ultimately going to be a, the judge, right? And He's going to judge you for for lying and for theft. Uh -huh. And have you ever used God's name in vain? Oh, sure. Yeah. So for blasphemy, and have you ever looked with lust at anybody? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So that's adultery of the heart if you've done that. And have you ever hated anybody before? <laughs> I don't know. That's a pretty strong word. Uh, yeah. Hey. Like, that type of thing. Yeah. And my name's John, by the way. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My hands probably pretty cold. What was your name? Joel. Joel. Yeah. Well, that's a Bible name. He's one of the one of the one of the, one of the one minor, of minor prophets. Minor prophets. Yep. Old men dream dreams. Young men see visions. All yeah. Men yeah. And, and he's quoted in the New Testament yeah. in in Acts uh, chapter two, I think. Just go. Yeah. 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 Just so. Good, good stuff, yeah. So, um, so that's the point. And, and what I'm doing, I, I'm asking these questions about the Ten Commandments to see where you're at. And, and so, because the, the purpose of the law, the Ten Commandments, is like a mirror. It shows us how bad we are. That's that's what it did for me. It shows. I've done almost yeah, all of those things. Look at why there's so much energy addressed towards the LGBTQ when there's so many other sins. Oh, well, you're right. That that's just one of them. Right. Liars. I mean, like, Liars, uh, haters, but I don't thieves, see, greedy, I don't, lust, porn, fornication, right, right. and abortion people, as well. I don't see these people outside of, I don't see y'all outside of banks or like outside of Goldman Sachs or Right, they're closed. Of, but well, yeah, not or, right Abortion now, clinics, but like we general. go to abortion clinics. Right, right, right. I, yeah. I get it, I get it. But, you, got to, you got your yeah, abortion, you got yeah. your LGBTQ. I feel like those are, are issues that have been piped up by the political machine mm -hmm. and okay. that yeah. Maybe we could have been this. made more important. Um, yeah, so we're, so, we're, uh, yeah, we're, pro that, we're proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oops, sorry about that. Right. Um, so, are you guys, oh, the chorus? Yeah, we're the Portland Game Man's chorus. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Anyway, yeah. yeah. But, well, so Joel and I are having a good conversation, and, and yeah, that's. I hope you understand why you're out here, because we don't want you to die in your in your sins and go to hell. We want you to be forgiven of of your sins by Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Well, we're looking for people that are open, and Joel was open to talking. Yeah. So that's what we're that's what we're doing. We must bring the dark deeds to light. We must reveal the evil deeds. Nice meeting you, Joel. There is no salvation in this building. Some information on LGBT, the rainbow card. Got some good statistics and things if you're interested in yeah. learning. No, thank you. But, but repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ to be saved. Yeah. Saved from you your sins and not go to hell. That's what we're preaching. Yeah, yeah. That one guy kept telling me, "That's judgmental, man." I thought you were supposed to preach love. Thank you. Thank you for your support.
husband. Oh, wow. Well. talking to me. Oh, yeah. I said, so you're an unrepentant homosexual. You're not uh. convicted. You're, you're, then you are going to hell. If you die tonight, you are going to hell. You need to repent. Truth bomb. <laughs> Truth bomb. <laughs> well, I will just have to disagree. You can disagree all you want, but you're going to stand in front of God, <laughs> and he's going to say, away from me, I never knew you. The, yeah. The, yeah. The, the gal here that her god is her belly she was trying to tell me that she forgives me and, and god will forgive me of, of my my deals and, and that she's glad that that i stand stand for him and forgive believe what it is and but but she is telling me that we're doing more more harm than good <laughs> yeah well if somebody gets convicted and repents I yeah it's done a good job right? yeah. have you repented of your sins sir and trusted jesus christ for salvation that's what that's what we're here about. So we don't want people to die in their sins and go to hell. So repent and believe the gospel. You may die tonight. How horrible it may be to pull out of here and got the car back. Oh man, yeah. Well, that's what I told that guy, that bald headed guy. I said, look, you could die tonight on your way back home. Rounded off to be weapons. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think there's some, they must have come out that door over there. So look, right there at the Methodist Episcopal Church. Oh, I didn't realize that. Episcopal. <clears throat> and they're claiming to be new men. Yeah. New men are gay men. Yeah. New gay men. This That's building's been here for like a hundred years. It's uh, 1890. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, Jesus is not between the, the candles up front or the organ in the back or the stained glass window nope. on the sides. I don't know, maybe go go talk to these guys here for a little bit. Uh -huh. <clears throat> hey, you guys, uh, have a good drive home. Be safe. Don't 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 get in a car wreck and die, because if you die in your sins, you oh, end up going to hell. There it is. It's always that. Yeah. Yeah, that's repent and believe the gospel and have life. Live in Jesus Christ. Don't die in your sins. That's that's why we're here. What's health lust? I'm What's that? What's health lust? Health lust? Yeah. Well, if you're making health a God, that's idolatry. Or sports sports is idolatry. And idolaters don't go to go to heaven they go to hell so that's putting anything you put above god sports wait so sports is helpless is idolatry yeah idolatry that's an interesting one okay. yeah isn't it yeah yeah idolatry is the first commandment you should not make a god in your own mind with your hands and, and bow down and worship it So how was the concert? It was good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. yeah. It was, people appreciated it. Uh -huh. Probably fairly talented, I imagine. Fairly. T talented? Were they yes. very, very talented men? Yes. I, and I don't doubt yeah. that. No. Talented and kind. Uh -huh. Kind, yeah. good-hearted. Yeah. And so, do you, do you understand why we're here? Um, well, I'm a Christian. So, um, um, so I both I both do and both do and don't. Uh huh. So how long have you been a Christian? Oh, since I was since I was about twenty, twenty-one. Uh huh. Do you, you think you've been born again? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And and would you consider yourself to be a good person? Um. Like a good and moral person, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you know what the standard yeah. of that is, right? Well, I, I, for me, um, uh, I'm blessed to experience God's love uh, unconditionally, <clears throat> yeah, um, and personally, and um, that's the greatest gift I think we um, we can be given. 
Mm -hmm. So do you, do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? Are you familiar with those? Yeah. So, like, here's an instance, um, like the, uh, the Ninth Commandment says you shall not bear false witness or lie. So if you were to estimate in your life, just rough estimate, how many lies do you think you've told in your life? Yeah, like more than 10? <laughs> what about you? Uh, oh, I've broken all the commandments. I'm, I'm out of the park. You're out of the park. So Me too, probably. more than 10? Well, I should think so. Okay, so. No. so what would you call your, what would you be called if you told, say, more than 10 lies? Well, you'd be called a liar, so I feel yeah. like I'm walking into mm -hmm. a cul-de-sac. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. So have you ever stolen anything? That's the eighth commandment, you shall not steal. Um, like even regardless of the value, uh, a, a penny, a piece of candy, a toy, um, even like on a job, if, if you've wor have you worked for like wage jobs before, where you get ten dollars an hour, eight dollars an hour, or whatever it would be, right. and as if you always worked every day, hundred percent, all those years that you worked, as best I have been able to. Uh huh. And there have been any times when you've goofed off and played games or whatever, uh, took a break when you weren't supposed to. I probably have the opposite problem. But I work too hard. Uh, but you don't think in all those years you've ever goofed off and took a break or anything like that? Um, I have the opposite problem. You work, you work too hard. I'm a type A kind of work too hard person. Uh, okay. No. And then um, the, the third commandment says yes. you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in, in vain. Oh, so well, he's you, been very forgiving around that one. Uh, so that's called blasphemy. Yes. And he said that you will not take, yes. you will not hold those guiltless who take his name in vain. Right. And then Jesus said, you've heard it said to them of old, do not commit adultery, but I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after, <coughs> excuse me, has yeah. already um, committed adultery with them in their heart. And it goes right. men to women, women to men. So do you think you'd ever done that at any time, looked at a man with lust? Um. Like in an inappropriate sexual way, no. it was not, you're not married to. Mm. I'm assuming you're married, I don't know. No, I'm not married, so. You're not, okay. But have you, have you ever, you know, like any time in your life, even when you're young, looked at a, a man with lust? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure where this conversation is going. No, not particularly. Well, these, these are the Ten Commandments. So yes. I was asking if you kept the no, Ten I'm, Commandments I'm and you said... I'm familiar with your commandments, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah. that's what I just wondered. Right. But you don't think so then, huh? No, not particularly. Okay, okay. But. So um, have you ever hated anybody, do you think? Oh, I've been pissed off with people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and that's the essence of it. If you, Jesus said, if you, if you are angry with your brother, you're yeah. in danger of hellfire. So, right. so to sum it up, right. then uh, you've admitted that. to being a liar, a thief, and a blasphemer, and possibly it sounds like a murderer at heart. If you never had done them in with the gun or the bomb or the knife, but you've hated them in your heart, then you, you're a murderer at heart. So if God were to judge you just based on those commandments, how, do you, how would you do on ju well, Judgment Day? Well, my, my experience of, of God is, um, um, is, is loving, loving and forgiving. Um, and, and I think, you know, the, um, you know, it's, um, I mean, maybe I'll just kind of like, you know, sh share this and then I'm not pretty to get out of the rain. Yeah, I'm it's, bit, and it's cold and I've, rainy I've, and I've, dark. I've sung a concert and I'm exhausted because I drove all the way here today. Oh, uh, where'd you drive from? Uh, Portland. Oh, wow. Well, that is a long way. I used to live in Portland. I grew up right. in Portland. And I drove yeah. down here to sing for you all. Oh, um, yeah. But, you know, the, um, um, uh, you know, there's much in the Gospels that speaks uh, eloquently because this is a lot of what Jesus did. He found ways to demonstrate a love that was transcendent that he could express to folks who at the time were considered to be kind of on the wrong side of the tracks. You know, the woman at the well, the tax collector, a lot of what he did um, was find a way to express um, that ineffable love that he experienced, you know, intimately, and find a way to express it across and between parts of his community that, that where it wasn't often shared. And so, for me, that's um, I have a I have a I have a, a daughter who was lesbian, 
and who's now transitioned to be a trans, my trans son. And, um, and the sense of um, love uh, and acceptance that I see in, in, in Jesus' actions um, is a lot of what I think is very grace-filled about um, the community with the LGBTQ choruses. Um, many of them uh, don't necessarily, wouldn't, uh, many of them left the churches that they grew up in because they didn't accept them. Right, I think there's a statistic, and I don't remember the numbers, it's pretty high, but I want to say like 79 or something like that percent of people that are gay, lesbian, uh, whatever, bisexual, have some sort of church background. Yes, it's, 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 you know, I mean, right. there aren't that many atheists, for instance, right. but, but many of them have a church no, background, and they, yeah. And they, they found, they found mm. it a very painful experience because of the way in which they were judged and ostracized. And, and the, <clears throat> so the sense of, of, of love and kindness that they <clears throat> express both with and for each other, but also with other communities that surround mm -hmm. them. That's so, like, I, I was just kind of thinking of church and, and, and things like that. Like, do you, do you think it would be wrong for the, the priest to be judged for their pedophilia, having sex with Thank little you for boys? Thank We've been having a protest for a long time. Well, it's Great actually place. not a protest. It's it's <laughs> proclamation of the gospel no. of Jesus Christ who can save you from your I sins. Don't know which Jesus okay. you worship. Well, That's it's a different it. Jesus for sure because there's <laughs> idolatry. You know, home, so when you make up a God in your mind, okay. then then that's called idolatry. So, um, but yeah, do, do you think that pedophilia is wrong, having sex with children? I think that I think that's a violation of a child. Um, I mean, if the child is is up for it, if they they don't mind it, then things, uh, it's things, consensual. Things, no, I don't think I think a child there is a there's a significant power imbalance with children, and so um, so. A child, in the context of an adult, is not in a position to be able to make a consensual decision. Uh, so it's it would be wrong then, and the, the church should judge them for for pedophilia, right? And and right. discipline them and whatever they would do, right? So, yeah. but for homosexuality, men having uh, anal sex with other other men, you you don't think that's wrong then? Can I get a hug? Of course you can. Yeah. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah. It's Joel, right? Wait, what's your stand on men having anal sex with women? <laughs> so, it's well, like, it's it's kind question. of the same yeah, type of thing. So, yeah. So, yeah. so, like that's and, a, and kind it, of gray area. Yeah, a gray area. Huh? So, is that a gray so, area? So, <laughs> so why? Uh, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So, so what? Where's your moral? Like, so is pedophilia wrong? Oh, yeah. Like child molestation? Why? Why is that? Because that's that can't be consensual because children. Who, don't who have says? Enough. Because, I mean, what's your source of truth? My source of truth is reason in that one. I mean, reason? What? Uh -huh. do you, I mean, what do you mean, reason? Uh, I mean that children don't have fully formed brains or moral systems until... So, then why is that wrong to do that, though? Because they don't have the judgment to have, because there's a power dynamic there. Well, I understand that you're, you're reasoning about that, uh -huh. but I mean, why? You're saying it's wrong, and you're, you're saying uh -huh. it's wrong because it's wrong, but, I'm saying but it's why wrong is it wrong? Because it's harmful to another human being. That's my basic moral it's thing there. Uh -huh. So, so what if they have sex with children and it's not harmful? Is that, is that okay then? I, never, I, never I, I believe that, that sex, without sex with children is always harmful. Yeah, I don't uh -huh. see how it could and, and so why is, why is it, well, if it's harmful, why is that wrong? Because harming other people is wrong. That's my... It's wrong because it's wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm, what I'm no, trying to do is find out what your source of truth it. is. Yeah. Because uh -huh. your source of truth is God. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But how do you know what God said? Well, he, he reveals those things to us because he's an omniscient, yeah, see, omnipresent, omnipotent that. God. And, and so, but he so hasn't revealed do it to me. So you kind of have, you have the God worldview and then you have the non-God so worldview, how right? How did he reveal so, it to you? <clears throat> well, because, uh, because he's God and he knows all these things no, and mean, he can reveal things. I mean, you think about it, if you, I don't know if I mean, you believe very, this, but if I God mean, created the, uh, if God revealed, created the heavens and earth and the universe this magnificent universe you don't think he could he could speak to an individual I didn't ask and, and sell I'm not doubting it I'm asking how 
I'm not asking the specific Well, the Bible says a still small voice. In other words, he's not audibly speaking, but he's saying, he's saying, go, go do this. And I, and I go, oh man, this is all, this is all, well, you you heard a voice, a still small voice, like, like that's communicated, not an audible one. I said, not an audible one, but the Bible uses a still small voice. And so, so it's a voice in your head. Well, not a he voice plays, in my head. Voice in your and head. that's not that's schizophrenia. Yeah. That's that's so that's being psycho. So, so, so I well, I keep saying non-audible can not hear it. Are you so hearing it's that? In your head. So, so well, it's you it's a it? it's like a thought. And then you read oh, so Bible. It's in your head. You you read, but it's not a voice in my head. But but, but it's in your head. Yeah. The, the well, point is, it's in your head. I mean, everything we think is our head. If you if right. you think about Including it, including your religion. Yeah. Let's go, Joel. Yeah. And so so we're just saying, don't die in your sins and go to hell. And Joel was very reasonable to give me some time to explain that. And that's what we're looking for: is people Maybe that are reasonable. Judge. And and is it wrong to judge though, man? So you just made. A judgment that it's wrong no, to judge no, so you're I being hypocritical and and judge. self-refuting if you're saying it's wrong to judge and you go ahead and judge you see what i'm saying let's go pick up some banks sometime lots of greed in banks lots of sins in banks there, there's sin everywhere yeah we only have so much time and time is running out for you my friend and so repent yeah, and believe the gospel like joel i care about you man don't be careful on the drive home. Don't don't die. We want you to make it to heaven and not go to hell. Okay.